In this video, we are going to focus on island style bases. These four corner style bases are a nightmare to take down, but here at Red Elite, we use two strategies consistently in order to get the three stars. So I'm going to break these down for you today as much as possible so that you can start replicating these attacks and taking down these bases easily for the three stars. So without further ado, Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, let's dive straight into this. Now I want to break down the base for you first before we move over the specific strategies. One of the strategies we use is the Lava Loon. Now it sounds more complex than it is. With any strategy you use for this style of base, essentially you want to cut off one of the corners. That is the easiest way to think about this. If you've got four different corners, four islands if you will, you need to get rid of one of them islands in order to then control pathing of the rest of your attack and you can think of that as your kill squad so what DJ is going to do here is take out this northern area and that will include getting into the center of the base in order to take out the CC and the heroes as well now often you'll see the defenses alter slightly you will see that throughout this video but in essence the strategy is the same what that will allow DJ to do is then focus in on one of the other islands you want to separate these as best as possible once you take that down your troops will then move straight down to this island because you've taken out that northern area and then finally up to the third island and that is exactly how you break this down you take one of them out initially and control your troops around the other three where you've narrowed their path and you know where they are going to go so let's dive into the replay itself and we will explain as we go. Guys, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos breaking down attacks, be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you do not miss out. Now I'm going to pause again for a second because the Electro Dragon is a troop you want to really highlight and use within this strategy. What you will see with any of these bases is that the four corners or the four islands will hold within them a powerful defense and that will be there by itself just isolated if you will. A lot of the outside of the base, as you will see here, is covered in defenses and trash buildings. And Electro Dragons can get fantastic chain value through that. So just take note on this attack and the others, the chain value that the E-Drag gets and the funnel that it creates. Essentially, we've done the exact same with the funnel over the other side of the base. So we can now draw straight in towards that northern area. Again, this is your kill squad. You do not want your kill squad walking around the base. So at this point we've taken out that northern compartment but just the defense in it. Essentially you've got to take out this center as well in order to then control your troops down but that's what your kill squad is aimed at getting. A lot of the time with these island style bases you will see the clan castle troops and the heroes on the inside of the base. So no matter what angle you come in from you should be okay in order to draw them troops out and take them out because they're going to be drawn into any compartment. Now if you can, you want a big enough kill squad to actually take out the defenses in the middle here as well. Now the Eagle Artillery you will see is in the center of the base. A lot of the time that might actually be up in this northern compartment. If it is, I'd highly recommend that that is the compartment you come in on. But again, if you're coming into the center of the base, you could choose either one in order to get to it. A lot of the time the town hall on the bottom has defenses around it a lot more and we'll explain why that is as we move through. Now you don't want to be too quick with your troops that you put in here. Notice how DJ is now bringing in the Lava Loon and that is once these middle defenses are down and also note that the air sweepers are taken out as part of that so we don't have to worry. And again just look at the base at this point as to what is left. Where are the troops going to go? Now it's not that you couldn't use any other strategy. I mean you could try miners here. Hog Riders are a good alternative for the Lava Loon 
but essentially you want to target the defences. So two hounds come across from either angle towards this air defence. And notice how the balloons are quickly put in behind with the haste in order to try and protect the hounds from this single inferno. We want them in straight away. Now notice how DJ also brings in some loons from the bottom of the base here. That is very important. What you do not want is your loons just tracking straight down to the bottom of the base here and not getting the town hall. That is essentially, I know I'm pausing the video a lot on this first attack, but as we move through, I won't pause as much. That is essentially what this defender is trying to do. That's why all these defenses are down here. As you track here, they don't want you to get the town hall. They want the balloons to come around, all the way around. Meanwhile, you might actually activate the Giga Tesla and look at its range. It can hit the loons as it's moving through. So you either have to cut off the funnel by getting your loons in quick enough here in order to wipe out these defenses so these balloons come through, or you need a big enough pack and then adapt your plan to get this done. So look what DJ does, uses the Grand Warden's ability, uses a rage spell, uses a freeze spell, every single thing in his power to take down that Giga Tesla as the balloons were moving around. At this point, the job is still not done. A couple of loons come to this Archer Tower. Now that again helps the pathing of the loons up towards this single Inferno. That is again a major threat. And at this point, let's say you're attacking in the Clan War Leagues. This is a base that you will commonly come up against you've got the two stars so that is good but you're still going for the three you're still trying to get that again the lava loon is one of the strategies we have found to be effective here at red elite do not forget about your cleanup and let's show you another lava loon attack but against a different base design or a slightly different base design still this idea of the four corners and islands then we will move on to that second strategy that we use here at red elite in order to take down these bases including an attack by myself but let's move on to the next lava loon attack you can see the eagle artillery to the north of the base for this one all of the attacks in this video are with these four corner island style bases but it's really the traps and defenses that move around Starting with this one, I want you to take note of the value of this E-Drag. Not only does it get that funnel created very effectively, like we said, because of the chain value, it actually moves in and starts taking out these defenses as well. Also notice the baby dragons on this side to create that funnel for our kill squad to come in. Now, in terms of the baby dragons, they are incredibly useful in these styles of bases because there is not a huge amount of DPS in one area. Essentially, the defenses are so spread out that there'll only ever be one defense shooting at the baby dragon. So with the enraged bonus, it actually does a tremendous job. Again, our kill squad comes into the north there, and with part of that, we're not only taking out this compartment, we're taking out the clan castle troops, the heroes, and the defences in the middle. And again, if you look at this from a zoomed out position and try and visualise what we're doing, we're taking out one quarter of the base. In fact, even more than that, because we're getting into the centre. Essentially, you're taking out one of the corners. We then have that lava loon coming in, we've already mentioned it with a good spread of the loons, and essentially you could use any strategy coming through here. We've just found the Lalo to be incredibly useful. I do use hog riders for this as well. Now notice how Razon comes in with some balloons to this bottom area. They do go down a little bit, but you've got to try and cut off the funnel here so that your balloons will then power through to the town hall. Now I've got to say that this base design definitely is not the best. You're not always going to have these Teslas here, which essentially draw your loons to the town hall. Not ideal. Sometimes you will ha actually have the tornado trap here to pull your loons to the outside to miss the town hall. That's often what you might see. Shout out to Razon who got a six pack in this war. And guys, if you're interested in joining Red Elite, we are recruiting maxed out town hall 12 players. You can join my Discord server, all of my social media platforms, are linked down below in order to see how to join. Now again, the balloons have moved right the way through from one area of the base. Once we've taken out a corner, we can then swoop right the way around. Again, the Lalo works extremely well alongside the next strategy which we're going to show you, but if you are not quite comfortable with Lalo, Hog Riders work very well 
as well. You just have to do the exact same thing. Take out an area, spread the hog riders. You don't want them clumping up too much so you can draw them in and around the base. Try and just sprinkle them into the different defenses to control their pathing into the island itself. And do not forget about the cleanup troops. That is massively important. Again, you might see this base design in the Clan War Leagues a lot. So if you get the two star, ideal, but I'm showing you how to get the three star. So let's move on to the second strategy which we use, which utilizes the dragons. Let's do that now. Moving on to the dragons and the drag bat attack strategy. We first have an attack by Risty and then we'll finish up the video with an attack by myself. Now with this one, you're doing a similar thing. You're essentially creating pathing for your dragons. So if I pause for a second, the difference with the drag bat compared to the Lalo is you're coming into the town hall straight away. So if you're in the clan war leagues, potentially you want to make sure you secure that two star you don't know again where the tornado trap is maybe that will pull your loons around this might be a better option cut off the funnel on the outside to start off with you don't necessarily have to worry about this compartment you just have to cut off the funnel here so that your dragons are drawn into the town hall i do that in this instance with an, an electro dragon baby drag and a couple of loons again this area of the base is down and a good way to start out the bottom of the base is with your siege machine and your heroes because essentially you need to crack this ring here as well so that again you can see if i draw the arrows here we can draw the dragons into the town hall that's the idea so a slammer and the loons inside that tend to be a good option because as you can see you might actually get lucky and hit off some black air bombs in order to control the dragons through now again look at it from this point let's draw a line at the buildings here where the dragons are drawn this is essentially what we mean by a funnel we're funneling the dragons in they cannot go anywhere else but the town hall so you want all of your dragons couple of loons ideally initially because you're probably going to run into some black bombs here and use the Grand Warden's ability to protect your dragons and loons over the Giga Bomb. Now, at this point, your dragons are drawn into the center of the base, and what you're going to do is use the bat spells to finish off around the outside. So I'll pause for a second. In this example, it is ideal because we have single target infernos. Obviously, if you have a single target on one side and a multi on the other, start your bats with the single to try and draw the dragons into the multi if that makes sense but essentially your dragons are going to be responsible for this bottom area all of the middle and you're swooping your bats right the way around the top meanwhile the dragons will continue to do their job as well you just have to worry about freezing the splash damage in this example all i have to worry about is that one wizard tower again because these bases are so spread out it actually lends itself to the bat wave. Look at how quickly the defenses go down. As soon as the bats get to a defense, bang, they are down straight away. It does not matter because they're so spread out. There's so little DPS onto the bats that they can take it down easily. And you've got to get that merge correct with the dragons and the bat spells at the same time so that one is protecting the other. Let's move on to my attack in order to finish things off. Okay guys, I know the base is pretty much the same as the one you've just seen. Again, a lot of these bases are similar. It is purely a couple of things that might be different. Maybe the sweepers are in another position. Maybe one defense is swapped around with another. You've still got to modify your strategy. However, if you have a replay relevant for you, then use it, whether that's from that war or whether you come up against one of these bases and you think, I know, Judo put out a video on that not too long ago. I'm going to go back and see whether any of the bases are similar to this one. Give it a try. It will help you out. Any information you can use 
then do it. So again, we've cut off the funnel on one side so that the dragons aren't going up that direction. We've cut off the funnel with the other, and as the dragons come in, that Grand Warden's ability is used. Again, the bat wave technique is best for this. So I wait until the bats, or the dragons, sorry, get into the center of the base. That way they can start to tank for some of these wizard towers. In come the bats at this point. Look, they can take down them defenses super quick. Didn't quite get them in quick enough to protect my queen but not to worry this is easy again you might have to be wary at how many come to the single inferno maybe you need to freeze that but that is where the balloons are quite good as well at getting over there to that and look at how quickly the bats take down the defenses take down this base and essentially it is history it's a very quick attack again in terms of the clan war leagues it's a very comfortable two star so that is the island bases broken down for you, condensed into just two strategies that we have found the most successful that hopefully you can replicate. If you have any other tips, please leave them down in the comments. What strategy do you use? I have previously used the Hog Riders, but essentially it works exactly the same as that Lava Loon, just plan it exactly the same. I've also seen people do Queen Walks into one of the areas and then minor right of the way around around it really just follows the same principles of taking out one corner and using a strategy around the other if you want to see the best town hall 12 attack in the game right now the video for that is on your screen i'd highly recommend having a watch of that but that wraps it up for this one until next time peace out